welcome to Dave's Whiskey Corner and the Corner of Dublin. Today I'm going to be getting a look at this new one. It's an Irish whiskey. It's from a company in the Liberties, which is in Dublin A. Eh? So I'm from that area, so I said I'd give it a good going over and see what it's like. We'll do a nose and a taste that's on the palate for taste and on the nose. It's finished off in American oak casks. It says it's aged five years. And not necessarily is it in the old cast for five years. It could just be finished off at maybe five to six months. It's non-chill filtered, which means there's no colouring, there's no added water, there's no flavouring. It's just standard colour, which is the way I like it. Non-chill filter, and it says it on the bottle, which not enough of them do. Fantastic smell there. We'll see what it's like and we'll let you know. Gonna drop in the glass there. Make sure you put the cork back in. Don't waste anymore. It's a lovely looking colour. Just give it one. You can tell that it's a good whiskey by the tears that's coming down through the glass here. The slower they come down, the better the whiskey. The faster they come down, the cheaper the whiskey. So we'll see what's like on the nose. Fantastic smell off it. But a bit of a spicy smell off it. Also, apples, you can get apples straight away on this. It's toffee. Like sugar, sugar, brown sugar. And you're saying, how am I getting brown sugar? You're saying, hey, how's he getting brown sugar? Well, get a handful of white sugar, a handful of brown sugar, and then if you have to smell the difference, that's how I'm getting brown sugar. Oh, fantastic. Straight away. Getting that warm, like a warm feeling off it. Like not, not like a roast and hot, but like a chili. Like a chili flavour. Lovely one. I'm also getting small bit of cider as well. Definitely getting the apples. Brown sugar. Cinnamon as well. Oh lovely. Oh my god, now this 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 did re it only opened in 2018, which is not that long, and uh, it's in the double night area, so they have a visitor centre in there as well. So I might have been looking at it on the website, and it's a fantastic looking place. It's all copper, wood, and all that sort of artifacts up on the walls, I mean it looks fantastic. So I'd recommend you go, and plus it's also, it's Irish, and as they say, Irish, let's buy Irish, because the Scotch love their Scotch whisky. So we should love air Irish whiskey, and especially it's a Dublin whiskey. So let's buy Dublin whiskey. Right anyway, there you go. I paid 45 euro for that, yeah, which is good value for money. And also, yeah, they delivered it for free. Which, where can you go wrong? And it's Irish. Buy Irish, and it's Dublin. Buy Dublin, better again. And it's where I'm from, even better again. But anyway, a little bit of history, which you might not know. This name, Liberties. Where did it come from? Well, I'm going to tell you. Back in the 12th century, King Henry II, he was the ruler of England and most of Europe and most of the world. He was ruling Ireland at the time. Now, we won't get into all that end of the history thing with Ireland and England and all that, because we're all over that now, it's water under the bridge. But he decided in around the area, Thomas Street, James Street, the Denard Avenue in around there, that he was going to put a liberty on the area. And what that means is, all the lords from England would come over and say, you have to pay a certain amount of tax, and you have to pay a certain amount of tax. But in this area, he said, we're going to pay a certain amount of money in this area, because there's a walled area at the time. There's still parts of the old Dublin Mall still there. You can see it around Corn Market. He says, this is the liberty. This is what's going to happen. So basically, he took the liberty of all the people in the area. And hence the name, the liberty. And in the, what, 2020 now, and it's still called the Liberties. So the Liberties was a liberty that a king of England took. So there you go, there's history. But anyway, this here, well worth it. 45 euro, fantastic taste, beautiful smell, easy finish. Would I recommend you get it? Yes, and it says on the bottle, non-chill filter. Where all I, that's what I like, non-chill filter. That basically means uh, it's fantastic looking and it's a fantastic taste. Alright, thank you. Go out and buy that. Bye bye.